right, everybody, we are back. A brand new Friday review here on the Cabral Concept. This is episode 2884. If you're following along, of course, you can get all of the research links, all the product reviews, and much more over at stephencabral.com slash 2884. Today, I've got some brand new research for you on something called suspended animation and how this may be used in the future to actually save lives or to increase longevity. Really interesting kind of sci-fi. I want to share that with you. You'll know about it first. Also, some research on which vitamins may actually improve memory-based decline. We're going to go over, it is an ebook, so it's a free ebook that I want to share with you because not everybody wants to read a 200 to 400 page book. I get it. But if you have ever want to learn more about the power of using your own breath and breath work, what works, what doesn't work, nasal breathing, and much more, I've got a free PDF for you to check out here today uh, written by, I believe it's the, called the Institute of the American Institute of Stress. All right. So they put this out. Thought it was really well done. I used a little bit of that research in conjunction uh, with that research of my own for a previous podcast, uh, which I'll talk about during the podcast review. But before we get to that, of course, I have a brand new product review for you for the week. I shared this with our high performance health community, and now I want to share it with you as well. So this is something that's going to be able to improve your heart rate variability. Now, of course, there's a lot of lifestyle components and sleep that goes into that, but there is a device that's actually been proven to help improve heart rate variability as well. It may not be right for everybody, but maybe it is for you. All right, let's dive right into the show. Bart, believe it or not, we are entering a new year in just a couple days. I don't know when you're going to be able to catch this show, but hopefully you catch it each and every day when it does go live. Uh, but this new year, I just feel that there is something just a little bit more special. There's something a little bit more as we move into 2024. And I'm excited for that. I Truthfully, I am. And I don't know that I should be. I don't know that this year is going to be wildly different, but I feel that it is. I feel that there is some type of tipping point, at least in the natural health-based community, where people are moving more towards being all in on improving their health through yeah, running their blood work, still no, but no doubt about it, but precision-based at-home lab testing, protocols based on not just what their friends do, but what they need for their own body. And I would say not even just with that, but it's also it's sharing the information and not being afraid to share the information, meaning like not feeling like they're the strange ones or the weird ones because they're doing sauna now or red light or they're doing intermittent fasting or you know they're following specific detoxes or different protocols that it's, it is accepted because it's always been backed by science. It's just now it's saying, okay, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, and people are getting great results. They can't deny it anymore. So I just, I look for big things to happen inside of the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute community, uh, inside of all of our lives, I hope. I really believe that. And uh, I'm excited for what 2024 brings. I hope you are as well. All right, and again, my commitment to you is each and every day here in the Cabral Concept where we're gonna be tackling a new integrative health topic, and it is listener-based driven. And so if you have a comment, you have a question, you want to see a different show uh, and a new show topic, feel free to drop it right in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about probably next Friday, some other happenings that will be going on with the Cabral concept, uh, different interviews we'll be doing, and so much more. So we'll save that for next Friday. Let's do a little podcast recap for the week before we get into our product review of the week and our book review, in this case, in the ebook. Okay, Monday's show was the new... New Year's plan. So I hope you check that out. So every single year, I've gone over the 12 week year and I've, diff I've given you different variations of it, how I've used it in my life, how I've improved upon it in my own way. And I wanted to go over a new variation of that. So that was episode 2880. Don't miss that one. 2881 was the 15 signs you're not nasal breathing. And again, that harkens back to this ebook PDF I'll be sharing with you for free today. On Wednesday's show was how to get rid of loose skin naturally. So so as you get older, your skin might get a little looser, or if you rapidly lose weight, you could start to get sagging skin. How do you improve that naturally? Well, I give you some, I give you a lot of different modalities actually, and one of the ones that's been proven to be the most effective, that was 2882. Yesterday's show, 2883, was the healthiest type of rice. So if you enjoy rice or you'd like to add rice into your diet, I go through, I believe, five different types of rice. Which one's the best? 
based on the individual. Because remember, it's always about bio-individuality. All right, that's our podcast recap for the week. You can always find all of the latest and greatest Cabral concept shows at stephencabral.com slash podcasts. All right, let's get into our Friday review product of the week. And it's right here. It comes as its own fun little carrying case. If you are watching this on YouTube, we appreciate you. We thank you for tuning into the show. Uh, YouTube is one of those places we're continuing to try to grow our audience, grow our community. And that's because I love being able to speak with you directly on video. I just feel there's a little bit more of that intimateness that you can connect with on video as well. So we're going to try to add our video player wherever it's possible. We thank you. If you want to subscribe to the show, of course, we would love you to be a part of that journey. All right. So what I did here, again, if you're watching on video, if not, I'm going to walk you through it. This is a simple device. It is about the size of my palm, not maybe just a little bit bigger than my palm. And I love it that it's basically no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, nothing at all except a battery. And it has an on button. It has a plus and minus sign, and then it has a mode button. So literally all I do is press the on button at the bottom. And what that does is it lights up the machine. I'm going to tell you exactly what this is. All right. It's essentially a tens based unit. And this is a device that is going to help you improve your heart rate variability. So I press the power button. It's automatically set for me to 40 minutes. All right. That's what I set it at. You can set it at whatever you want just by pressing the minus sign. I do this for between 30 to 40 minutes, about five nights a week. Then once I set the time, I press the mode button up top, just like that and set it zero. Okay. Now you can increase the intensity, which I'll show you exactly what it's going to look like in a moment all the way up to, let's see how high this goes. I always set mine at about 24. This goes up to 45. So I'm about halfway. And that seems to be the right intensity for me. You attach this cord and it's bent into a half circle over your ear and you have a clip and it clips right onto the tragus of your ear. That's just that fleshy part right in the beginning. So I set mine at about 24. That's a that's basically just perceptible and you get a little stimulation, basically a little electrical stimulation. And it's very gentle. You can set it for as intense or least intense as you'd like. And what it does is it actually stimulates a nerve that runs down the back of the left side of the ear and neck. And that's called the vagus or vagal nerve. And what that does is it moves you out of sympathetic nervous system tone out of fight or flight and more into parasympathetic nervous system tone. So I'm going to keep this on my ear now for the show. Again, if you want to check it out, just go to YouTube uh, slash Stephen Cabral, or you can just go to stephencabral.com slash 2884, where we place the YouTube video each and every day. So why did I start using this? Well, I used about five total HRV devices over the last three months. And I always experiment with them myself and I recommend to you best in class. So people ask me, have you used this device? Have you used this device? The answer is almost always yes. Sometimes it's no and I love to learn from our community as well. But I've used most of them and I like them for different reasons and I'll be recommending them for different reasons. But this is the one that helped me improve my HRV about another 10%. And I've already been working on HRV now for about three years. So I know for sure. Now, it may not seem like that much, right? So let's say you have an HRV of 45. Okay. So 10% is about 4.5 more a night. But you'll move from 45 to about 49 to 50. It's, that's actually remarkable. So like I know what my HRV is because I've been tracking it now for about five years. And and I did it way back in the day when it was deplorable. It was in the single digits and low teens. And that's when I was very, very uh, ill. And I built that up. I really like, I've made it a, a, a big goal of mine over the last three years to improve that. And so I've, I've dramatically improved that. I'm happy with where it is right now. But if I can elicit a better HRV, that means I'm going to have better recovery better rejuvenation, improve my overall biological age and age of uh, rate of aging, and continue to repair the body more overnight. So how I use this is simply put for 30 minutes uh, right before I start to get ready before bed. That's it. I'm either sitting down reading, um, chatting with my wife, or I'm watching something essentially mindless on TV. And that's what I'm doing. And this just sits in the background. I don't have to do anything. I love it because it's not another app. And all I do is click the power button when I'm done or it powers off 
after the time is over. So it's that easy, it's that simple. The company's name is NeuroSim, and I'm actually gonna link it up here today at stephencabral.com slash 2884. And if there's a discount code, which usually these companies give us five to 10% off uh, for our community, I will link up that discount code for you. And, uh, and that is that, all right? So link today will be at episode 2884. You can learn more about it on your own. See if it's the right fit for you. Okay, now our book review or our quick tip uh, of the week is actually probably a little bit of a balanced one. So although this isn't the average 200 to 300 page book that I've read for you, uh, this is a 36 page PDF. And I wanna bring this to you because there's a lot of people who wanna learn more about certain aspects of health, but again, they don't wanna read the 300 page book. Oh, well, here's 10% of it that I think they've done a great job. So this one is by, as I said before, the American Institute of Stress, and they put out a PDF, and this particular PDF is the healing power of the breath. And what they do, and I'll give you the table of contents, is they'll take you through the benefits of nose breathing or nasal breathing, the healing power of the breath in general, um, working on your exhale, which is the most important part of instituting or integrating the parasympathetic nervous system, so the rest and relax. It goes over fusing awareness and sound with deep breathing practices. On page 23, taking a deep breath, so actually working on your breath counts. And then there's yogic breathing. They teach you an episode tw uh, on episode on page 26. And then the, finally, they leave off with uh, one minute relaxation exercise for busy people. So even if you're super busy, what's one minute, 60 seconds that you can do? So I think it's great. I love being able to simply share others' great work. And uh, I think they did great work. It's essentially about five or six different articles in one PDF, and all of it has scientific citation behind it too. So you can always uh, understand that, yes, natural health is backed by just as much science as conventional medicine, even though conventional medicine doesn't like to agree or believe that. All right, let's get now into our research for the week. Let me pull off, I've, if you could ever see my desk, uh, it is always, uh, I would say that it's, uh, organized chaos. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to put it is that I have everything exactly where I know where it is. But if anybody else ever came in, they would say, uh, wow, how do you work like that? All right. So let's get into it. This one is out of, let's see, the research at Washington University in St. Louis, and it was published in Nature Metabolism. So what they've now been able to accomplish is something that you would have seen 30 years ago or more, right? 40 years ago or so, so now in Star Wars. It's literally suspended animation. So I don't know if you remember in Star Wars movies, I used to love Star Wars, is that they could essentially send a beam into another person's head or use energy like a wave and the person would essentially freeze. They'd be stuck in a state of what looks like hibernation. Well, believe it or not, scientific researchers now have been able to create this. Here's what it is. They beam ultrasound waves at a spot in the brain using something called torpor. I'll link that up for you. And it dramatically reduces metabolic activity. Usually, they'll use this in extreme conditions in order to improve survival. However, if it can be safely used in humans... They can then use this during surgery or if someone's having a heart attack, a stroke, or any other health-based issue where they need to essentially turn down this person's metabolism, put them into what might seem like a coma or suspended animation where they're not able to move, they're not able to hurt themselves or anything like that. So this obviously has implications for really negative side effects, right? Like meaning like used in the wrong hands, very negative. Uh, but if used positively for medicine or maybe even towards the end of a person's life, prolonging life could be very fascinating, could be very interesting. So I am not one to ever judge to say this is right or this is wrong. I always believe that it's probably in the hands of the practitioner 
or the hands of the right institution. So we always want to make sure these things are used for good and not evil. And we know that evil sometimes does triumph, but hopefully only temporarily. All right, so I wanted to share that with you. I will link up the research on that for people that like to go a little bit deeper on that. But I always like to be able to, on the Friday reviews, so you can say, oh, okay, yeah, I heard that on the Friday review and the Cabral Concepts. And then you can go deeper if you'd like. All right, so here's another one. This is uh, from a professor of neuropsychology at Columbia University in New York City, lead author of a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and that is Dr. Adam Brickman, uh, PhD. So here's the headline, multivitamin reduces age-related memory decline. So people over 60 years of age who took a multivitamin daily outperformed those who took a placebo on memory tests by the equivalent of 3.1 years of age-related decline. Benefits were greatest in individuals who had the most underlying cardiovascular-based issues. This is very interesting because I know the multivitamin they used, and it is one of the least potent, cheapest, and poorest to assimilate multivitamins on the market. Because I just uh, didn't give it the most glowing review, I'm not going to name it, but it is the one of the most popular multivitamins for seniors, and I'm using that in air quotes, it's sold at every CVS pharmacy or Rite Aid or Costco. It's that leading brand. Now, let me tell you, the minerals in it are basically chalk-like. They have none of the methylated B vitamins, and yet this poorly created cheap multivitamin owned by, of course, you know, uh, big pharma-based companies, they still still beat the placebo by 3.1 years. That's remarkable. So again, because the placebo often improves as well. So this is improving over the placebo by 3.1 years. This, in my opinion, a, a good methylated multivitamin is going to be something that's used as a fail-safe. Shouldn't be mega dosage, but it should be easy to absorb, easy to assimilate, take it with food, you're gonna get great results. You really are. So and that's that. We use the daily activated multi. You can see exactly what we use at stephencabral.com uh, slash shop. That'll take you right over to Equalife, which is our global functional medicine practice. You don't have to use that product, but at least look at the label. And then you can kind of compare, oh, is my multi the same as that or not? And then, uh, of course, you don't have to do that. Now, if you also use the daily nutritional support, it's already a full daily activated multi, and so you're all set. So I wanted to share that with you. Again, we always strive to bring you the latest, most state-of-the-art science, but it is always based on safety, efficacy, and getting you the results that you want. So hopefully today's show was helpful. As always, we're back each and every day here on the Cabral Concept. And tomorrow we'll be back with our Cabral House Calls, the weekend edition of the show where we're answering our community's questions. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing rest of the week. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.